tries to move the puck and is successful out of his own zone. Turk picks it up and lifts it back down into the Kings zone, picking it up on the half wall as Wedderburn. He plays it out the right side, comes back to Martin, the Aces defender, will throw it up the right side. And he picks it up to Fabian, but it's poked away from him by Kelly. Puck bounces around through the neutral zone area. Fillion and Martin will go in. They bump. Puck gets pushed into the king zone, but Wedderburn knocks it right back it out. He gets it to goal. He comes down the right side. Tries to throw it across. Goes off of Fabian and almost into the net as Regan had to be careful with that one. Picking it up is Turek. He plays it up the right side. Gets it to Fabian. Fabian will move across center. Plays it to Galbraith, but it goes off of his body, and that allows... Gladue to pick it up. He tried to throw a pass to Goldie, but Goldie bent down to pick up his glove. St. Jocks has the puck. Throws it out in front. It goes off the back of Regan's leg and in the net. And the Salmon Kings have tied it up with two goals in less than two minutes of play. And just like that, folks, bang, bang, it's 2-2. The, the fans in the Sullivan Arena sit Stunned in silence as they can't believe what's just happened to their Aces team. A commanding 2 nothing lead. But the Salmon Kings come back with goals from Taylor and St. Jocks as the almost impossible angle shot by St. Jocks finds its way in. And the Kings tie this one up at 2-2. And it's a whole new ball game as Keith will chip it down into the zone. Getting there first.